Hey guys, I'm Game Advisor, and welcome back to another Icarus update video. Today, we're going to be covering the update week 37, which is called Attachment Systems Number 2. Now, the most prominent thing that comes out with this update is going to be the 21 new armor attachments. These new armor attachments can do some pretty impactful stuff, so let's just go ahead and jump into talking about them. To give you an idea of just how powerful these attachments actually can be, we have everything from some that will increase your swim speed by 30%, and they can be stacked, by the way, on some slots. So in this one's case, you can have up to 60% increased swim speed, which is a lot, even though, yes, we really don't swim that much, as well as it gives you an additional 60% climb speed, which again, isn't that much, but it's enough to be extremely impactful if you happen to be doing those activities. I just don't think people are going to use it at this point in time, just because you're not really swimming or climbing that much. So even though it is a 60% increase, it's just not enough to be worth taking it over some of the other attachment options. Another attachment option you have is the food buff one, which allows you to have it on your chest slot. So you can only have one of these attachments and it allows you to have this attachment that creates an extra food slot for yourself. This means you can have four food buffs running out of any given time and the nice thing with it is you can actually take the chest mod off after you've eaten that fourth piece of food and maintain that fourth food buff while you don't have the chest piece on so you can have a different mod in that slot or a different piece of armor. I don't need to tell you guys how impactful food buffs can be, so I'll just say I think this is a very powerful one and there's a reason it costs composites and it's extremely expensive. Again, I also don't know if this is a bug, so you might not see this being an option to use later on. There are also helmet slot ones that do everything from reduce your water consumption to all sorts of other things, such as preventing poison debuffs and reducing the chance you have to get pneumonia whenever you're inside a cave. One of my personal favorite attachments though that came out with this entire thing is the one that gives you extra inventory slots and can be put onto three different pieces of gear. This means in total you can have a whole whopping 12 extra inventory slots and 30 kilograms of carrying weight and that is a lot. If you're ever doing a loot run this will add up and this will give you just a lot more efficiency when trying to go out and mine regardless of what you want to get because you have to make less trips since you can carry more. I will say that some of these are going to see a lot more use than others because some of them can be crafted in a tier 3 bench where others are going to require the modification tier 4 bench and power and all these other high tier ingredients so we'll have to see what happens with it just know that some of these are at the tier 3 bench some are at tier 4 but all of them can be crafted at tier 4 so again I think some of these are going to be really, really impactful, but some of these are just not going to change the game much because players don't want to craft up to them unless they're already crafting to tier 4 anyways. Next, let's talk about crossbows. Crossbows have received a buff this week in the form of making it so that instead of pinning enemies, it now slows them by 50% whenever you shoot them. This is a chance to trigger effect, so it just gives you an opportunity to use crossbows if you like them. Personally, I'm not a big crossbow fan, but hey, it's there if you like it. I still don't think they're that useful unless you're using the exotic ones of course but even then I personally would rather just have my bow that does a ton of extra damage and has an incredibly fast fire rate. Otherwise we do see that there is probably the best update we have ever seen in Icarus and that is the fact that they've now added smoke to fireplace chimneys whenever they're turned on and I'm going to be honest with you I don't know who asked for this. <laughs> I mean I'm sure there's some people out there who really wanted it but the smoke is like barely visible and it's not that good when it comes to actually showing some decoration for your home i just hope they make it at least a little bit better like add some darkness to that smoke so other players can see it or so that you can see it whenever you're making your home if you're trying to make something really cosmetically appealing because i'm pretty sure that's who this update is for unfortunately though it has no gameplay impact so for me i'm probably really just didn't care but I'm sure some of you out there love building custom homes, so I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I just hope they make it a little bit better for you guys, because at this point in time, it doesn't put up enough smoke to see it from a distance, so it's useless for gameplay purposes. But it is cool to have some form of heat wave coming out of it, at least for the players who care about having that cosmetically appealing home. We do also have confirmation here that they are planning to put in ranged and deployable attachments. We don't know how long this is going to be, but it's something we can see in the changelog. Hopefully it won't take too long and we'll see it in the next couple of weeks, but hey, I'm excited to have it nonetheless. Now before you guys go, I do want to quickly talk about some of the things they're talking about for the 
regular future content. If you didn't know, Icarus is planning to have a DLC, and this DLC is looking like it's going to have a swamp biome, a grasslands biome, and at the very least, some kind of volcano biome. And to me, that is just a cool freaking idea. I really want to see what they do with it. I think it could really add to the aesthetic of the game and really bring some new ideas into it and allow them to branch off into some cool things. They also talk about animal taming down in the future content section, so that's something that's going to be really interesting. I personally would love to tame a wolf and run around and let it hunt with me. I think that would be absolutely awesome, or tame a buffalo and be able to ride it into battle. All of those would be sick. Again, we're going to have to see what this system is in the future, but at the current moment in time, this is what we have available to us. It's not in the game, but it will be in the future. We just don't know for sure if it's going to be a DLC thing or if it's going to be free to everybody. Either way, I'm going to be picking up the DLC and playing it, so I'm excited nonetheless. With all that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. For more Icarus and other survival game content, consider subscribing to our channel and liking this video as it makes a huge difference for us. I want to give a big shout out to our Platinum and Above members, Caustic FPV and Jim Phillips. Thank you guys so much for supporting our channel, and if you want to check out the membership program, you can do so by hitting the join button just below this video. Thank you once again, I'm Game Advisor, and I'll see you next time.